Hi there guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice. And today's video is gonna be a doozy. So I decided to post this video because I felt like it was a great lesson in what you can do if you go too far with your um, darks in order to add lightness back. So I started out sketching a hamburger um, and this was during Inktober. Uh, hopefully this might be the last Inktober video I post guys I'm not sure but um, so it was for the snack uh, and I decided that I would do a double cheeseburger because it is one of my favorite snacks which nowadays I'm eating possible burgers instead of regular burgers but nevertheless I decided to do a, a, a double meat patty burger here um, so as I said I sketched it out and I wanted to use you know, like products I don't use on a regular basis. So I grabbed some water soluble markers. I'm using the Winsor & Newton Professional Markers alongside the uh, Stetler Dual Brush Pens. Now, here is where I made the first mistake in all honesty because those Winsor & Newton um, markers are actually pigment based and not a dye based ink. Um, they do have real pigments in it. It's one of the only professional brand of water-based markers you can get that is actually pigment based so i started with a burnt sienna and a um burnt umber and that burnt umber was dark so where i drew in all of the little uh hash marks when i did my sketches where i went in with that burnt umber in order to add the darker areas i covered it with burnt sienna and then i'm taking a flat thin uh, all media brush that's by Royal and Lane Nichols a synthetic and I'm just using it to kind of spread that pigment around a little bit and I'm going to use the Stetler markers um, alongside it now the Stetler is going to be where I got the gray tones from because I only have a few of those Windsor and Newton markers and I did not have any gray tones um, so I decided to grab it out of the Stellar Dual Brush Pen since I have used those. And there's a review for those Dual Brush Pens on the channel if you guys want to go check it out. I think they're actually really great product and I don't use them nearly as much as I should. So as you can see, I'm just using these brush pens um, to get all of the first layer covered for the entire burger. And I was already in trouble. I was thinking really, really hard on what can I do in order to possibly um, bring some lightness back to it because I felt like things were too dark already. So we're switching over here to using the Paul Rubens Professional Watercolors. This is a 24 half pan set and I am in the process of testing those in order for a review. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And I decided that I would just go in and kind of put watery layers down on top of the markers in order to see if I can add some lightness back to it and it just sort of blend that marker out a little bit better. So I did a little stippling with the markers on the patty part. Wasn't really happy with the way it came out so I took a brush and kind of you know blended it in just a little bit and I'm still going to just proceed with covering each of the sections with a complementary color from the um, watercolor set to match what I had already put down as far as the first layer was concerned from the markers. And then you'll see me blend back and forth. And I'm actually going to cover the bun part two, maybe even three times, trying to get it light. And once that didn't work the way I thought I wanted it to, I was like, okay, I can't give up on this painting. I have to keep going. That's what this is all about. So then I grabbed some gouache. So here you see me using Master's Touch. Um, gouache set it's either a 24 set or a 36 set and eventually there will be a review coming on that too guys i have so many products that um i need to get to and i promise you they're coming so i decided to use that gouache because i knew it would do a couple of things with it being opaque it would give me a layer of grit that i'd be able to put color pencil on top of because ultimately i felt like that's what i was going to have to do in order to really save this picture and it would add some opacity to those transparent layers of markers and watercolors just to help, you know, kind of ground the burger, give it some body, uh, kind of help me with achieving more of a roundness for each of the individual sections of the burger. So you'll see me go back and forth just adding different 
um, layers of gouache in different areas in order to really just kind of spruce it up and as I said give me a surface that was going to really take colored pencils which I'm switching over to now now here I'm using the King Art Pro 72 count of um, what they consider professional color pencils I consider them a really 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 good student grade pencil but I love them they're really nice I've done a review for those as well so as you can tell, a lot of these are products that I've just kind of had in backstash and haven't been using. And I figured Inktober would be the perfect time with all these different sketches that I needed to do in order to pull all those things out. So once I finished with that layer of colored pencils, I was happy because I used the lightest possible complementary colors from that pencil set that I could. Because I wanted to, again, try to add some brightness back to the burger and after the gouache and the color pencils i felt a lot happier with the outcome of the burger so i grabbed my fine liner marker and i just went in to add my dark lines back in from my sketch um sketch back out the little spots where the darker colors went down and to color in the seeds i was kind of happy at this point you know it wasn't the best drawing but the illustration came out okay so now I'm going to throw in some shadow. So I switched back over to the Paul Rubens Professional Watercolors. And then I want to take that shadow color and just kind of spread it out to give the indication that it's sitting on like a table surface. Uh, perfect the shadow and go back in with that fine line marker once again to uh, make sure that you can tell where the burger was touching the table. Now here I'm going to grab a white Prismacolor pencil because the White King Pro pencil wasn't quite opaque enough. Throw in some highlights, kind of bring back some more brightness to the burger. Eventually you'll see me sign and then throw a, a border outline around the frame, a picture just to frame it and help it look a little bit better. Well guys, that's it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, like, follow. And remember, as I tell you at the end of every single video, guys, just keep painting.